Welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'll be demonstrating how to create Kindle from your already drafted manuscript, especially if you have used um, a processing application, either word processor or you've used um, InDesign to create your own manuscript and you have the PDF file, which you would not want to um, go ahead doing the design all over again um, in Kendall in Kendall Create so this time around in my earlier video I showed you how to use Kendall Create to create your own ebook starting from creating the uh, titles to the first letters of each chapter and all of that um, today I'm going to show you how to create your Kendall out of your existing PDF the final PDF copy where you would not have to go uh, and do any touches to what you have already in the final document so I'll show you the final document of a book um, the same book I used in the earlier demonstration and then how we can go about this and as I mentioned in the first video this is very important uh, because people have access to um, read over your ebook or your Kindle versions before they make a decision on buying the paperback or case cover versions because um, the case cover and paperback are usually um, relatively expensive as compared to the uh, Kindle versions so someone might not mind just dropping in a few cents or a few dollars to buy your Kindle to have a view of how the whole interior looks like or the contents of the book before they decide on buying a hard cover if they need be. So let's get into the video. So here I have a I have the PDF version of my book opened. Um, the book for this demonstration, the title is Eat Right for Your Black Tie. And this book is available on Amazon. Uh, if you want to get it, you can get it from Amazon. This is just a free ad for uh, my client. All right, uh, so this is the book, and this was done by Word Sculpt Consult. If you need a writing consultancy or publishing firm to do your book for you, either ghostwriting or publishing um, your already developed manuscript, you can reach out to us via the link in the description. Okay, so there's a table of content, and then we get into the main book have the introduction and all the other elements in the book uh, carefully created uh, various text box in the book various pictures um, the, the word caps for the first letters all of that have been done and all that is left for us to do is to upload this but as I mentioned in the earlier video if you do a direct upload of a manuscript as such in, um, in in the ebook format on Amazon you're going to have issues with your layout because it's going to change into um, the standard A4 size and your formatting is going to look uh, quite weird and the readers are not going to have a nice reader experience so um, it's always good to use Kindle Create to fine-tune your work before you upload. Alright, so let's head to Kindle Create. I'll launch my Kindle Create and then I'll go to open, sorry, create a new file, creating a new file all over. And then instead of the reflowable we used in the earlier video um, we're going to use a print replica and with a print replica you can use your fixed layout from a direct pdf file for the publication and for comics too you can also format your pdf file or jpegs into a more comical book or a book of such a nature I'll do a separate video on that as I when the need. So this time around we're using the print replica 
and if you have an audio version of your book if you have someone doing the audio reading for you you can actually insert it into this book if you need all those services you can still reach out to voice Corp and then we'll do a very great work for you so print replica you select that and you hit on continue so this is the book title i'm going to fill in all the details here and then we'll proceed with it so i'll hit to choose file and then i will select and my file is right here so here we are with our file now as you can see um, it's just like the print version so just as the PDF we saw the table of content everything over here and if you are concerned about whether your table of contents are going to be clickable you just have to double check but first of all you have to make sure that your PDF version has the right table of contents I mean they have um, clickable table of contents and I've done a video on this you can browse through my videos and you find out how to do your table of contents other than that you can always reach out to West Club and we'll help you do that um, so you can see over here that there are blue markings here and that indicates the various headings used in your table of contents so the introduction is a table of content entry and if we scroll through to the chapter one we'll see that also as another entry right if you want to do it manually in this uh, kind of create application you can head here and then okay, let me choose a blank page that has no heading i'll just click on including table of content and give it a title right and then it will show up in my table of contents but i have already uh, completed the whole work and so i'm not going to include that here so there's a complete book and then we can hit the export and it's going to export it into a kindle publishing format kpf file and you can upload that in your kindle so i'm exporting this right away and so i'll save it as a kpf file and my file is ready so I'll, I'll show the file there's a file and then in this video I'm going to head on to upload it the, the earlier video I did not upload but I'm going to head on to the upload um, the book has already been uploaded in the site um, but I'm going to do a re-upload and just for you to see how we go about it and as part of our services in Westcorp we can actually do the upload on Amazon for you and you are assured of confidentiality um, you can just trust our brand you can check us out on the socials so as you can see we are in our Chrome now and then um, I'm going to upload and um, these are already uploaded I'm going to edit and um, the already uploaded file and then re-upload this new one that we have done so i'll head to edit ebook uh, content all right all right so right here in the upload manuscript i'm going to change the manuscripts that i have here yeah and as i mentioned earlier at westcode we can do all this for you you don't have to worry about even the keywords to use that will drive sales to your book We'll do all of that for you so i'm going to upload the new manuscript that i selected i i just did so i'll select the file and then open and it will be uploaded it will be uploaded so our upload is done and then i'm going to <clears throat> You would have to check that it's it's not AI generated again and then I'm going to launch a preview uh, for us to see how it will look like. And as you can see, this is how the book is going to look like on a Kindle reader or on a mobile device. This is a tablet, a Kindle reader. And so if you are looking for 
um, a well laid out book this is the best way to go about it if you are unsure you can always reach out to us to do a great work for you yeah and we can switch to see how it's going to look like on a phone and I hope you would enjoy reading a book as such and your table of contents are also going to be valid you can actually increase font size and all of that so that is that and now head on to publish the book again so so that will be all for today's video see you in my next video where we look at how to do comic books in this series bye for now